and continuing to support Yobukai. I remember um, he may have passed away, but we we carry on his legacy. And I also think it's really important to note that when he passed, um, there are people like Sensei Martin and Sensei Johnny and Sensei Jonathan. Jonathan. And um, since they hi, since they call, who have been with, they were with my father from like very, very beginning. So also people from South America were with him from very beginning. He spent months and months there. And um, I know that when he passed, I think a lot of us also, like I lost a father, but I really feel like a lot of people lost a really, really big father figure in their lives. And I just want to thank you for your just continued support and reaching out and just being so kind. And um, I just, I, I feel like I just kind of see him all the time and like things like this, I'm getting like a little bit choked up, but I, there are things that like we do and it's always so nice to hear everybody reference him. Like I learned this from Kaicho and it's, it just feels really, really nice. So thank you so much. And um yeah, I just I just wanted to make sure to say thank you to everybody. It was it was it was tough, but and it is still a little bit tough, right? Every day I kind of um have like random dreams about him that are really nice. Um he's always like doing what he really loves to do. And it just I don't know, it just feels good. And then when I put on my uniform, I don't put it on as often as I used to, but when I put on my uniform, his hangs next to mine in the closet and I and I Oh, I I kind of don't know what to do with it, but it just feels nice that it's just it's there, and mine is right next to his, and and it's always been like that since um really like since I was older, and we started hanging our geese next to each other, so it just feels really good to see it, and then I get to put it on, and I get to be with you guys, and I feel like we get to be together, and it's like we are honoring him. He is not like Yobukai is not Yamazaki. I want to make sure to say that, but it was such a big part of our lives that it feels that way. So, but so it just it feels good to just like be with you guys and see you guys. And and again, thank thank you so much for your love and support and and reaching out and being so kind. Okay, all right. So now that we got that out of the way, let's let's get started here. Okay, so um, I wanted to go over some kihon techniques with you guys, and I love kihon. I used to hate it absolutely hate it. It was like the first 20 minutes of the class. And I was like, just get through the kihong so that we can get to kata and then we can get to kumite. Like, I just want to like, ah, like that. Right. But I find that when uh, my body feels like a little bit off, so maybe I've been sitting for a long time, or I have been um, maybe working out at the gym a little bit too much. Sometimes I feel like when I do kihong, it's kind of like this like every kind of like set of techniques, my body sort of adjusts, 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 adjusts until it feels like it comes together. So if you ever kind of feel like, oh, um, when I'm doing kihong, it's like, oh, my, my, my body feels like just my arm is punching, just this arm is punching, just this leg is stepping. I would uh, invite you to maybe do a couple more kind of combination techniques. And so there's a couple that I really like, and then I would like to, um, Oh my gosh, I forgot to pause Sensei, for Sensei the translation. Mina, yeah. <laughs> I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. Yes. Okay. It's, no, it's, it's, yeah. it's, 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 uh, so. I, uh, I think you know what to say for the beginning part, Sensei Jonathan. Yeah. Mira, eh, Sensei Mina estaba primeramente dándole gracias a todos por todo el cariño y todo el amor sobre el fallecimiento de su papá, de Kaicho Kiyoshi Yamazaki, que era un pues zona muy importante en, en la vida de todos nosotros este y obviamente digo está todo día, día en muchos de nosotros procesando este esta realidad que estamos hoy en día y digo sensei y nada más está expresando de su corazón el sentimiento el cariño que tiene para todos y, y el agradecimiento que tiene a todos este ustedes y, y todos para el soporte en estos momentos difíciles en la vida, ¿no? Entonces, muchas gracias a todos. De, 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 de parte de todos, pero parte ahora de Sensemina. Uh, y estaba comentando que originalmente, pues sentía como que el Quijón era el primer 15, 20 minutos de cada clase y nada más tuvo que 
pues pasar esto para entrar en el parte de la clase que le gustaría más hacer. Uh, pero estaba comentando ahorita que hoy en día cuando uno se sienta mucho cuerpo no está exactamente alineado, hay que abrir mente para poder utilizar Kikon para regresarnos al, al centro, ¿no? al, 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 a, a realinear nuestro cuerpo y el mente, en mi punto de vista también, <ríe> mucho este, en la vida que tenemos todos. Entonces, este, nos va a enseñar y compartir este, Kikon hoy con nosotros y otra vez este, de su parte, de nuestra parte, muchas gracias a todos. That was the short version, but... Okay, yeah, thank you, sorry about that. Okay, so um, let's start with, uh, so I'm going to talk about uh, posture very a little bit, uh, very quickly. Um, so as much as possible, when you're doing your kihong, you want to try to keep this, this, this posture, so this uh, kind of stacked position. So you want like your head, shoulder, hips, knees, feet, kind of like lined up. Cesarín está comentando que es muy importante tener la postura muy recta, este, con pues, obviamente la cabeza, luego todo el cuerpo encima y centrado. Ok, so mentioning that, there's going to be a set of rules that we sort of work with, ok? Now, once you understand those rules, then you get to break those rules, right? But you have to learn the rules first. So that's why this posture is very important. But if you're thinking like, oh, how come in Kamita then, I'm seeing people do this kind of stuff. Okay, but you have to learn how to keep your body in line first before you break that line. Okay, muy importante, es, es verdad, este, Sensei Min está comentando que por eso hacemos Kijon, para tener la alineación y tener la, el cuerpo recto y en la posición correcta para luego entender cómo movernos y romper esta línea recta básico eh, para poder hacer comité o otros movimientos donde el cuerpo se hace un lado o el otro lado. I'm going to run for my charge. I'll be right back. Don't say too much. Okay. Okay. <laughs> sensei Fabio, do you think you can um, translate while Sensei Jonathan goes and gets his charger? Okay, so here's what I'm doing right now. So I'm pinning a couple people on my screen so that I can see them. So just want to let you know that I have um, I have Santa Colombia and I have Kimi Vega in Chile and I have Dojo Kyodai pinned on my screen. Okay, so because those are the people that have like students with them. So as I'm teaching, I want to watch and then point out some things that I'm seeing. That's my dog. <laughs> He just wants to check it out. He's like a security guard. Hey, go to bed. Go on. Go to bed. Go on. Okay. All right. So let's get started. So let's start with just regular tsuki or chokozuki. So choko means like, um, it's a shortened word for choko, which is direct. So chokozuki is a direct punch. Okay. So we're just going to do chudanzuki. Everyone put their left hand out, right hand on your hip. Regular chudanzuki, chokozuki. Uch. Ni, sang, si, go. Okay, so you're feeling this in your upper body, right? So if you're feeling it in your upper body, I want you to think a little bit more about the lower body. And then when you think about the lower body, don't do this. And don't do this. Keep that body upright, okay? My legs are pretty straight, maybe like a little bit of a bend just, just for comfort, okay? So... Ready? So make sure you feel that punch in your lower body. Each, knee, sang, sit, go. Okay, we're gonna go a little bit faster. Ready? Each, knee, sang, sit, go. Okay. All right. Now, now we're gonna do a little bit of a um, like a exaggerated hip motion. Okay. So exaggerated hip motion is I'm going to pull this back and then I'm going to I'm going to throw 
this punch and then I'm going to stop it with my hip. So this is like an exaggerated hip motion. It's not going to be this big ever when you're doing like basic, uh, basic technique. Okay. So I'm now on my left side, I'm going to pull it back. I'm going to launch it forward and I'm going to pull it back. So this is exaggerated hip form. Okay. So like nice big movement. Each, 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 each. Okay, good. So my upper body is very relaxed. My lower body is doing a lot of the work. So if you're feeling this kind of movement in your upper body, it's not correct. You want to feel it in your lower body. So I'm throwing. So it's very, so I'm just, I'm just using lower body. Okay. But my posture has to stay the same. So I can't have a break in any part. Oh, it looks like I'm dancing. Can't have a break in any part of my body because once that line is broken, I cannot use my hips, my lower body for a good punch. Okay. So then it becomes extra work. Are there any questions so far? I think no one understood what I said because I was all in English. <laughs> Algún pregunta? Este, Sensei Mina está enseñando. Maybe you can demonstrate while I, while I talk when you can okay. do that dance. So I'm, talk about it. <laughs> so I'm doing <laughs> exaggerated hip motion. And so Entonces, again, you can see that my, my belt line, if my belt line starts to break like this, that's how I know that I don't have good hip motion. So it should stay flat and I'm rotating my body. Como lo ves, nada más, este, la carrera está rotando, pero del, si tú sabes, del, del, del posición recta, ¿no? De su cuerpo. Ese es que está enseñando que está haciendo todo el movimiento del parte de abajo de su cuerpo y el cuerpo mantenga una postura recta. Okay, good. Oh, great. Okay, so now I'm watching, like, hey, Kyodai, Dojo Kyodai, do it. Chokozuki, go. Go, 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 go. Okay, relax that upper body. Make sure you guys relax that upper body when you're when you're punching, right? Es muy so, importante ser relajado en el parte del cuerpo de arriba. No te, okay. ni, ningún tensión. So on impact, we have to have good technique. Uh, we have to have um, like kime. I think everybody understands what kime is, right? So kind of like all the energy sort of like comes together in this one single point. So kime is important, but I want you to try to stay as relaxed as possible. Don't stop your punch. Your body will finish the technique for you. Es muy importante uh, enfocarnos en el punto al final de la técnica que se llama Kime, que entendemos, este, nosotros esperamos, cuando todo el movimiento, la energía entra a un punto final y llegaría a su destino. Eh, Sensei Mine comentó también que es importante no parar la técnica antes que llega a terminar su movimiento. Ok, so, now, the feeling that you have using this very big like hip technique, now I want you to make it more efficient. So it's not going to be today that that is able to happen, okay? But you have to practice it that way. So it's not about being tight. You have to be able to move your body, but that movement becomes more efficient. So still relax the upper body. And so I'm still doing that technique, but it's just much more efficient, but same amount of power output. Con, con la experiencia y con la uh, eh, repetición de hacer las técnicas muchas veces, que está enseñando ahorita en Semina es que no es necesario, necesario a, a hacer un movimiento grande para generar la fuerza y, y el potencial que estamos buscando. Entonces okay. los movimientos se hacen más pequeños mientras hacemos este, más repetición y entendemos mejor. Okay. So I'm kind of purposely not saying smaller because I don't want people to think that the movement is smaller. So I keep saying efficient because we don't need to have a bunch of extra movement. That's just for you, Sandy Johnson. I'm just saying it for you. Okay. All right. So, oh, 
Kimmy Vega. This is good. Yeah, great job. And then that just one, that one dude just like walks in front. <laughs> okay. All right. So now let's go to Zenku Tsachi. So Zenku Tsachi is going to be one of our most basic stances. We start like a lot of our, our Kihon in Zenku Tsachi, right? So as much as you can, it's going to be about hip shoulder wide. And this is going to depend on how flexible or how tight your hip flexors are. Some people are going to have to have a little bit of a bigger Zenku Tsachi. Mm, I'm not really here to say if that's okay or not. Uh, I didn't invent karate. <laughs> oh, really? So what was taught to me, that's kind of like the only thing that I could really say, is that we were taught to be about hip wide, about shoulder wide. You don't want it to be too wide because then it is a little bit slower to move in that kind of like wide stance. Okay, so we're going to be in Zing Sachi. We're going to have a left hand out. We're going to go Gyakuzuki, and then we're going to do, uh, not a Oizuki, but we're going to do a Chudanzuki, okay? So I want to see the same same level of focus and Kime from both punches. So whenever we practice this, I see lots of focus on the Gyakuzuki because it feels better and not a lot of focus on this Chudanzuki here. But this Chudanzuki is also very important, right? It's a little bit on the off side of our technique. So I'd like to see gyaku, ski, gyaku, ski. Okay, ready? Oh, Sensei John, please. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, Sensei Mino estaba comentando que Zenku Tsurach, eh, como ella no inventó karate, este, está, no está apoyando enseñar los movimientos. Y para aclarar, los movimientos no es que están más chicos o más eficientes. Okay, ready. So let's go, so everyone, let's go right leg back. Let's put our left hand out. Okay, I'm gonna count. Ski, ski, okay? Ready? Ush. Nip. Ush. Nip. Ush. So if you can see yourself in the camera, look to see if your turning on your Sushu Sen, your kind of like your axis point, or is there a little bit of this happening here, right? So this is how you break your posture line. Can you, can you, can you show one, one as it should be and then one as it shouldn't be? And I'll just explain. Eh, okay. nos está enseñando como hacemos el Gyakuzuki o Chokuzuki, su cuerpo mantenga en la línea recta, Sushu Sen. Okay, so this y one no, is not. Y no, y no, así. It was, still looks great to me, but yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's television. You have to like make it bigger. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So I feel like I'm going to hurt myself if I like do a bad, like I'm like, oh, my back. Like if I was showing them how to not do it, I hurt my back. Okay, so I, I see sign, kind of like this. Movement, like, yeah, I do, I do. Entonces, lo ves ahí que su 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 sen está movido y su cuerpo está a un lado. Eh, que nos está explicando es la importancia de mantenernos recto con un cuerpo recto. <laughs> okay, all right. So uh, let's let's do it again. So if you can try to pin yourself so that you can see if su su sen is correct. Okay. Ready? Uh, so let's have everyone get ready. And ready? Punch. Ay, sh Ay, sh okay, Dojo Kyodai, really try to relax upper body, okay? It, it looks like kind of like that, okay? The most can relax mass. Okay, so Kimi Vega's group in Chile, like the kids, what I'd like to see is like a like bigger movement. So right now, it's like this. Oh, Sensei Mina said, make sure you don't do extra movements and Suchu said needs to be correct and do this and do that. Okay, I did say all of that. But that's really for like the black belt level that kind of already understands suits and using your hip. They like 
we've trained 10 plus years, kind of like that, right? But the kids, I'd like to see like a much like bigger movement, use your body more, and then let me correct that. But if you don't show me anything, then I don't really know what the capabilities are. Está, está comentando Sensei Mina que en el, en el dojo de, pues nosotros vemos aquí como Kimi Vega. Eh, saludos a todos allá. <laughs> um, está comentando si pueden eh, este, hacer los movimientos más grandes, o sea, más, con más cuerpo. Y luego, pasando cinta negra, Shoda, Nidan, pues vamos este, haciendo los movimientos más eficientes otra vez. Pero para los niños y para los principiantes que está buscando es, es unos movimientos más dinámicos. And then Sensei Yoga, I think you have a mirror next to you and you just punch and you look at yourself in the mirror. <laughs> no? <laughs> Sensei Jonathan, will you ask him if he has a mirror next to him? It's um, Santa y Colombia. Santa y Colombia, la pregunta es si tienen un espejo a su lado. <laughs> yeah. So he's like this. Sí. <laughs> okay. I'm only making fun of him because I, I do know him. Like, I'm not just making fun of a random person that I have never met. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's switch legs now. So again, so Kimmy Vega's group, I want the kids, I want to see much bigger movement. And then like black belt level, more efficient movement, make sure the upper body stays relaxed, keep everything in the lower body, okay? Para los niños y principiantes que está buscando Sensemina es son movimientos más dinámicos, más grandes, este, utilizando todo el cuerpo. Y para los cinta negras de arriba está buscando eh, eficiencia. Okay. All right. So we're going to go gyaku, ski, gyaku, ski, okay? Ready? Ush. Oh, like Chile, like show me, show me more. Okay. Yeah. It's yeah, okay. It's yeah, me. Yeah, okay. So Kimmy Vega's group, the person right in the center, really good. Good job. There's like a black belt. I'm thinking that's Kimmy Vega, but and then in the middle, right there, sí. that person. Sí, in the middle. Oh, that's not what I meant, but it's okay. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Okay. All right. So that's going to be kind of like a uh, ski using our bodies uh, from Zenkutsachi position. Okay. So now the next step that I want to talk about is sort of like posture when you're on one leg. So uh, the only reason why I'm talking about this is because like there's a possibility I have to teach Unsu in March and I'm like really not looking forward to it. Sensei Chin, you're going to get an earful from me. Hold on a second. Hey, stop that. Okay. So, for example, like um, we're going to do this from like a maigiri position. So, uh, like in our, our shodan kihong, uh, the, in the test, we have something where we do like gedanbarai maigiri, and then we go back into zengsachi with the gyakuzuki, okay? So, what I would like to talk about here is not having this bend forward and backwards when you're doing your, when you're doing your technique, uh, let's see, like here, I want to try to keep this body upright, but I don't want to struggle too much while I'm doing it. So you don't want to feel like very tense. It really should feel like, oh, I'm just going to pick my leg up. So I guess it's probably with like a lot of practice, so try not to feel like you're too tense because when you pick your leg up and your body is like, and you're like really struggling to do it, that balance tends to come up and we don't want that. We want to always keep our balance in the lower body. So we want to kick and then back. So one way that I like to kind of practice this with students who are getting ready for the black belt test 
is I will have them stand. We're gonna pick up, we're gonna do my Yeti. So this right now, we're up high. What I'm gonna ask them to do is to lower their body first and then go back. Ideally, you would like to, I would like for you to lower your body to the same level as your Zenkutsu That is ideal situation, okay? If you can't do it, that's okay. We're, we're trying to get rid of this here. We're trying to get rid of that. Está enseñando, Sensei Mina, ahora es, es el, el, el visión es intentar eh, mantener el cuerpo al mismo, al, al mismo línea, ¿no? Cuando uno suba su rodilla para patear, para hacer mayagueri, en este caso. Este, lo importante ahí es, obviamente, no demasiado tensión en el estómago, en el centro del cuerpo, jalando la rodilla por arriba para luego hacer mayagueri. Entonces, como, can you, can you show it again? The good one. The good one. From como, the como, sí. Yes. Sorry. Como lo ves, es un movimiento muy dinámico, ¿no? Sin tensión. Okay. So, uh, when we're doing this technique, the, we want to try to keep as much of the balance and the weight onto our front foot because we're going backwards. So after we're done with this kick, don't fall back into the stance. We lower ourselves, oops, we lower ourselves into like our Zengsachi height. And then this leg goes back like that. Como lo ves, está eh, manteniendo el peso del cuerpo en la pierna que está enfrente. Can you show that one more time? Yes. So, my giddy. Lower. Go back. Speaks for itself. Very good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So let's let's practice this. Um, okay. So first, we're gonna do it from Zeng Sachi, so it's a little bit easier that way. I know it doesn't sound easier, but it's a little bit easier that way because our front knee is gonna remain bent the whole time. So we're gonna go my giddy, and then we're gonna put our foot back. So remember, I'm keeping kind of my balance. On, I'm trying to keep it on my front leg. So once my leg goes back, then I adjust into my stance. So it's pretty, it happens pretty quickly, but like, let's, let's try it together, okay? So we're gonna go my giddy, and then foot back, okay? Ready, everybody? So try to keep that posture upright, ready. Zing sachi, okay, and itch. Good. Hey. Okay, so I am seeing like this kind of movement, right? So I'd like to try to keep this about like, I try to kind of keep the balance, keep the energy kind of forward. La energía y la, la fuerza y el peso sobre el pierna enfrente. Okay, ready? Good. And it's okay. Like, if you feel like, oh, like, oh, that wasn't okay. All right. Next one. Okay. Some. Try to relax that upper body. Ship. Good. Let's do one more. Go. Okay, nice. All right, so let's do five more. So now what I'd like, now what I want to see is all of that. But when I count, so like when I see, when I count, I see a little bit of this in order to kick, okay? Now, when I say each, this has to come up, pull it up, not this way, but it's not going to start in the upper body. This upper body remains stable. When I count, we kick, okay? Upper body is relaxed, okay? I count, and then back, okay? Ready? Upper body stays relaxed, and... Cuerpo relajado. Nick. Good. Okay, so, and then also, um, maybe non-black belt students, 
if you see yourself like this, kind of like that, that's okay. So that, you have to develop your body so that you don't have to do this anymore, right? So you develop your body. So you practice, practice, practice. Then your kick, upper body can stay relaxed, right? But beginner level, intermediate, it's okay. Like that, okay? You have to develop your body. You have to know how hard you can kick. So I always want you to use your entire body when you're beginner, intermediate, like, like maybe even advanced level. I want you to use your whole body all the time at your mass, like mass power, mass power at the like, highest level. Yeah, it's, right. So I want you to use your whole body. That way you know exactly how much output you have. And then your movement, you can work on it becoming more efficient, but you keep that same output. Ok, Sensei Mina está comentando que la, es importante uh, utilizar todo el cuerpo para generar la más fuerza, energía y potencial posible. Y si se hace que el cuerpo no mantenga súper recta en el proceso, sobre el, el camino vas entendiendo cómo hacer más eficiente en los movimientos del cuerpo mientras hacemos el movimiento en este caso Mayagueri. Okay, so I think a lot of times we're a little bit too focused on like having like this perfect like technique when I think really I think what we want to do when we're like first learning is to use learn how to use our bodies first and have like the most output while using our entire bodies and then make our technique more efficient. So how, uh, I guess this is probably what my father is talking about. Maybe like this is my version of age karate, right? So it's like, it looks a certain way when you're like, maybe I want to say younger, but like, I just think like, okay, we usually start when we're younger, when we're like lower level, like beginner level. And then a technique looks a little bit different. So how I see techniques from, well, how I used to see techniques, like my father doing techniques, that's not the way I was able to do it. But little by little, it gets closer in the look or like the feeling of it. Okay. Y que está comentando Sensei Mine otra vez es que utilizamos todo el cuerpo y cuando somos principiantes o jóvenes o cuando estamos empezando, el, la importancia es utilizar todo el cuerpo en la energía que generamos para las técnicas y para entrenar. Y como vaya en el tiempo, en el camino, ir haciendo más eficiente con los movimientos y con las técnicas. Estaba comentando cuando estaba entrenando antes con su papá, el Caicho Yamas aquí, este, pues como todos nosotros, como vemos a él haciendo las técnicas, pues era una diferencia mundial entre, pues, los técnicas de nosotros el técnica del Kaicho Yamazaki, pero como forma pasando los años y los años entrenando y practicando, las técnicas empiezan a, en algunas de nosotros, no yo personalmente, <ríe> sabe más como Kaicho Yamazaki, pero en el caso de Sensemina, sí, mucho. Okay, oh, okay. Muy bien. All right, so now let's sw switch legs so that like our other leg can get a little bit of a beating here. Oh, otra okay. pierna. All right, so now left side. Whoa, my foot looked huge. <laughs> All right, so other side, ready? So again, keep that, try to keep that posture, kick, and then put that leg down. Dojo Kyodai, did you just turn off your camera, bro? How do you say bro in like Spanish? We're like, bro, is there a version of that? Not like hermano, not, not like that. Oh, okay, all right, there he is. Yeah, they get it. Okay. Everyone gets it. I had to learn some like, some really good Spanish since Jonathan before I go to Mexico. So you do, like, you do. Bro, orale, like I gotta learn like that kind of stuff. Okay, all right, ready? So let's kick with our left leg. Keep that posture nice and strong, ready? Really nicely done. Go. Look. 
Shish. Really good. Good, 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 good. Hutch. Kip. Chip. Okay, good. Okay, all right. And relax your legs. If you need to get a drink of water, let's get a drink of water. I need a drink of water. I'm just going to. Si quieres tomar agua. Adelante. Everyone left. <laughs> just like, okay. Your camera's like this. Camera's off. <laughs> okay. So now this same technique, we're going to add the punch now, okay? So we're going to start from Gedambarai. I think the Kihon technique is from Gedambarai, if I remember correctly, which maybe I don't. But we're going to go Maigeri, Gyakuzuki. Okay, now this is going to tell you, like, where is my balance? Because if you go like this, that means your balance was behind you. You had the weight in the wrong, uh, not, I don't want to say wrong leg, but you had the weight in the other leg, as opposed to trying to keep it here. Otra vez, Sensei, Sensei Mina está enseñando dónde poner o no poner nuestro cuerpo si vayamos demasiado atrás cuando regresamos la pierna en Zenkutsurach, eh, es difícil luego hacer Gyakazuki. Entonces right. es importante mantener el peso sobre la pierna de frente. So if you compete with Unsu, you can do it from here. You can, you can practice it just like that. But if you don't do Unsu, we can do it from the Kihong position. Okay, Dojo Kyodai, when you do your punch, when he does his punch, it's like this. Like that. Do right. it again. Oops. Oh, everyone's watching. Oops. Uh uh. It's like this first. He has to keep this down. Si sí, mantener la mano en la misma posición hasta que terminamos el, la técnica. Oh, it's better. Mejor. Okay. It's better. It's not quite there yet, but it's much better. But he's thinking about it so much. Now his weight is on this side when he's doing the technique, right? So techniques are always performed both sides of the, bo both sides of the body. So don't, oh, I know, it's kind of hard because I'm telling him to focus on this right now. And then he's focused on it. Now I'm telling him, don't focus on it. <laughs> both, both sides of the body. Okay, man, it's like, kind of sucks. You're like, since you you told me to do this, and then you told me not to do this, and now you're telling me to do it. Okay, so keep that balance. This, this has to, when, oh, okay, that's much better. Do it again. Oh, not that one. Do it again. It's like a little bit better. Okay. Or relax, relax. <laughs> Take a break. You'll get it. Let me see yours. Go. Okay. Colombia, you'll get it. So that one, yep. That one, your hand is too fast. Better. Still a little bit too fast. Too fast. Okay, so let's do it together. So the reason why I want to show you this is because it feels like you're doing it. At, it looks like you're doing it at the same time. You do want your hand and feet, upper body, lower body, you want it to finish together. So that's kind of how what, what Kime is, that's what they're talking about, right? So it's kind of like technique, energy, the sun and the moon and everything like aligns. Don't translate that part. <laughs> no, es que está comentando Sensemina es la importancia es que empezamos el movimiento con todo el cuerpo juntos y terminamos juntos. O sea, toda la energía, la luna, las estrellas. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, es importante empezar de entender este Kime cuando se junta al final de cualquier técnica, la energía, el cuerpo, Okay. So, 
here's the thing. My leg is from here down, okay? My arm is from here out, right? So tell me, are my, arm, my arms and my legs are not the same length, okay? So I cannot start, I can't expect to start my upper body and lower body at the same time and then expect to finish at the same time. Does everybody understand what that means? La pregunta es como está obviamente diferente tamaño la pierna de uno, el brazo de uno, este, no podemos empezar al mismo momento los dos. Okay, so what that means is I have to be, so one, with lots and lots of Kihon practice, I will have understand the length of my arm, the length of my leg, my body length, like I, I should understand all of that stuff. So whenever you see like teenagers, kids who are growing, like when they, they kind of look like that, it's because their brain doesn't know how long their body is anymore. But so just, you just have to keep working with them. They just, it, the body or the brain will catch up. They will understand like after lots of practice, but okay. So here, what I'm trying to do is that when I put this leg back, I need to start I need to start this a little bit earlier so my hand's not going yet. I cannot do it at the same time. Look, my punch is already done, right? Here. It's almost like, like almost. So there's a timing of the upper body and lower body. No yoga. No yoga. No. Again, do it again. <laughs> again. Okay, it's better, but it's not quite there. Okay, so everyone, we're gonna work on it together. Yoga Vamos a entrenar side. juntos. Oh, that was much better. Oh, almost. The, the hand is like a little bit too soon. El mano okay. se va un poco después. Okay, all right, ready? So. What was that noise? Did anybody hear that? I wonder if my like headphones went out or something. Oh, okay. So my AirPods are on 10%. That's what that sound was. You guys didn't hear that. Okay. All right. So let's keep going. So again, here, or uh, we can do it from Gedambarai. We're going to go Maigiri and then Gyakuzuki. Now, you should. It should not feel tight. Kime is not tightness. It's it's like it's a timing, it's an energy, it's power, power, timing, posture, balance, everything, everyone, everything comes together. Okay. So it should not feel, should not feel like it's like too tight. It should not feel that way. Okay. So it should be kids, eh, relaxed. Kime no debe de sentir muy mucho tensión, mucho fuerza. Pero es el momento cuando llegaría todo junto del movimiento, la energía, de la fuerza, y llega al punto de impacto. Okay, all right, so let's let's do it together. Ready? And each Maigiri Gakuzuki. Good. So if you felt a little bit of a like shock to your body, you have to get that leg to go a little bit sooner. Okay. Ready? Ich. Whoa, give me Vega. That's a good, good tukis. Go. Look. Good. Let's switch legs. Ready? Let's switch legs. Switch legs. Okay. Ready? H. So yoga, your legs are, your kick is fast. It looks like you're trying to make your, your kick and your punch faster. So it's not about being faster. It's about correcting the timing of when those techniques begin and end. Yes. See you, Okay. 
Nice job, the, the good, You know, the, you know the, the good thing is that we don't see you, who you're looking at, so we oh. all feel like you're telling us the same thing. Oh, 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 okay. So <laughs> I <great>. have, <laughs> sorry, so I have Dojo no, JG so Sandai Columbia pinned. So I have them pinned and then Dojo Kyodai and then Kimi Vega pinned. So I'm looking at, uh, at those people. Okay. But it feels good to everybody else because you're like, yeah, it's great. Oh, okay. Yeah, you guys, great <laughs> job. Like, way to be here, especially since they hi with this camera off. Like, you, you great job, sir. You great job. Gustavo with your fantastic glasses. You great job right there. <laughs> and it's not that one, yogurt. That one was not good. <laughs> Nick. Okay. Sit. Okay, Dojo Kyodai, this side is much better. It's much better than the other side. And now try to relax your body. Keep the same, maintain posture, but try to have a little bit more like relaxed kind of, yeah. Okay, ready, go. Great job. Okay, I am a okay, relax. Good. Okay, so that was so we did like posture, then posture on one leg, and then balance on one leg, and then hand foot timing. Okay. So now uh, I want to move into um, there's two really uh, there's two kihon techniques that I really like. Um, it's in the black belt test. So the first one that I really like is this uchiyuke. Gyakuzuki, soto uke, gyakuzuki. So I really love this one because it kind of makes you like you have to turn your body in order to do this technique. So it allows you like lots of good upper body movement while keeping the lower body uh, uh, anchored. Sensei Mina está comentando. Could you do it again? Why? Well, I. Yeah. So, yeah. so Sensei Mina is uh, enseñando un, unos técnicas que le gusta mucho que está dentro de nuestro currículum, este, porque se se necesita utilizar el cuerpo entero y el movi movimiento de la cadera para lograr hacer lo, los movimientos bien. Okay. All right. So let's let's get started on that. I wonder if I should plug in one of my headphones. Right, let's see if that works. Does everyone still hear me? Yes. Okay, good. All right, so I'm going to charge one and then I'll switch and then. Okay, all right. So uh, let's start in Gedanbarai. And then we're going to move forward. Uchiuke, Gyakuzuki, Sotouke, Gyakuzuki. Don't be afraid to use your body, okay? So a lot of times, like what I see from adults, Especially people with like very strong upper body, I see like a like you know like movement, and it looks very like challenging in like this chest area. So I definitely don't want to. I don't want to see any kind of like struggle in the chest area. Más relajado en el en el parte central del cuerpo cuando uno hace estas técnicas. Okay, so don't be afraid to use use your use your whole body. Okay, now. When I say use your whole body, now the next rule that I have now, right? I have just like all these rules. You kind of want to pretend that you're in a very, very narrow hallway, okay? So when you go for, so Uchiuke is going to start from way up here, okay? So that's understood, right? But I want you to envision Uchiuke is not like a uh, kind of movement. You want it to start here and then come almost like, think of it, as like an attack, as, as an attack, right? So you want to get to the spot as directly as possible. Okay? Tenemos que llegar al punto de, de conexión con la otra persona el más pronto posible. Entonces, Sensei Mina está comentando dos cosas. Uno, que se siente como que está en un, un pasillo muy angosta. Entonces, no hay mucho movimiento para hacer movimiento así, fuera, fuera, fuera más recta y más directo al punto de llegar. Okay. So then, after uchiuke, yakuzuki, the sotouke part, 
this is when we have to kind of pretend that the that the space that we're in is just the size of our body, right? So I, a lot of times I will see like a lot of movement like this, like this, right? It's like kind of people trying to relax in between movements or maybe there's like a tightness in the upper body. So in order to get rid of it, they're, they're like this. But this is wasted movement, wasted energy. So we wanna keep it so that like, we're in like a small area. This comes here and boom, right? So there's no extra kind of like, I'm not gonna hit my hand against like a wall if it was very, very narrow in the space. Otra vez, el, eh, su, su sentido cuando está haciendo estas técnicas es que está en un espacio muy reducido, muy angosta. Okay, so that's why I really like this movement. So you get to use your body quite a bit, uh, but there's still kind of like rules about how big you get to use your body. Okay, all right, so let's move forward. Okay, ready? Zensachi. Whoa. And it's it's you get Gakuzuki. Then also look at Gakuzuki. Good. And then make sure you watch your belt in your camera view, right? So when you go to Sotoke, should not tilt like this. It should remain flat. Okay. Good. Also, your knee, knee position does not do this. So when you turn your body, when you kind of like open your body, this knee forward and back. Okay. All right. Let's step forward. If you can, if you have room to step forward, let's step forward together. We're going to go uchi gauge. Then yakuzuki. Okay. Yakuzuki. Good. Okay. Let's go a little bit faster. Okay. So we're going to go uchike gyakuzuki. That's one count. Second count, sotoke gyakuzuki. Okay. Ready? And itch. Nick. Okay. Forward, uchike gyakuzuki. Itch. Nick. Good. So notice that. I kind of have my hands open here, so uh, beginner students don't look at that. <laughs> I want to make sure you guys see that like my upper body is relaxed. My hand can be open, but the technique, everything, the execution is all very, um, I don't know if linear is the right word. Oh, I think this headphone died. Okay. All right, good. Okay, everyone's still able to hear me, right? Sister Jonathan, I don't hear you actually. Okay, no, I think, can you hear me now? Oh, oh, I hear you, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, let's, can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. <laughs> I think, I actually, I was on mute. <laughs> oh, you, the translator muted himself. Great. Okay, everybody. All right, let's go forward again. Zing Sachi. I look like a... Look at this. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> such good lighting, right? Okay, ready? And forward, Uchiuke Gyakuzuki. And... Itch! So keep that upper body relaxed. Nick. Good. Okay, let's go forward again. Itch. Okay. Nick. Nice. Okay, let's go forward again. Itch. Nick. Good. Try to keep that upper body relaxed. Let's go backwards. Backwards now. Ready? Itch. Oh, oops. Nick. Good. Backwards. Itch. Backwards. 
atrás. Yep. Sensei Mina, okay. you can keep going forever, but we have five more minutes. Okay, okay, yeah. But you can keep um, going. No one's gonna complain. <laughs> I guess maybe I'm more, maybe there's like a maybe there's like a like does anyone have any questions? I didn't really like Let I didn't me check really the like leave it open for questions. There are no questions. Oh, now, now, yeah, now, so actually, sen okay. Sensei Mina, okay. Sensei Mina, um, one of the things that showed up in the, the, the chat was a little bit, I think, uh, a sign of clarification regarding technique and body weight. So you talked a lot about the, the, the technique and the timing of, for instance, the hand and the foot. Can you add in a little bit about how the body weight plays into that? Uh, okay, so are, um, I'm guessing you're referring to like from the one leg technique kind of stuff. Yes, or, or and for instance, going forward too, right? Like you want to bring the body weight into the technique. So it's great that your hand and your foot are at the same time, but then you want to add the body weight too. Um, um, Sensei Paul, can you rephrase the, Paul, question, you rephrase please? the question, please? What's, sure. What is the root so, of the word? The root of the word? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So when we think about when we think about energy, one of the components of energy is mass, right? So you get mass into your technique by bringing your body weight forward in time with the technique. Can you okay. talk a little bit about how that plays in? Because I think some people are very focused on I need my hand and my foot to arrive at the same time, which they do, but the purpose of that is why, right? And the purpose okay. is to bring the body weight. Okay. So so I guess like I wonder I think maybe the okay. easiest way to explain it is when you step forward and punch. Um okay. So maybe I'm gonna say something a little controversial here. So I think a lot of people think of it like when you step forward and punch, you step forward like like it's kind of like if I'm exaggerating, it's like kind of like this, right? So you wanna like land and you wanna be like you want to have it in front kind of deal, right? Which there is, there's definitely that element. But the anchor, I like to kind of focus on the, like, hikite. Like, I always, like, if Kaichou's thing was hip, my thing is going to be hikite. Like, that's what I really kind of, like, harp on quite a bit. So kind of, like, a technique going forward, there's kind of a version of hikite in the back leg. So that back leg must be anchored. Now, again, energy is going forward and hard right but if your back leg is not anchored all of this one-sided effort it doesn't translate to a strong technique it translates to like a i don't know if heavy is the right word that i'm looking for but it kind of is just like like a like a as opposed to like when you hit something that energy going in it almost kind of just like lays on the surface so i mean like it hurts for sure but for the amount of energy you put forward, the output, like what you did, doesn't really equate. It doesn't really match up, right? So we want to use lots of really good technique in order to um, do very efficient uh, technique. Yeah, it's very efficient kind of like damage. Um, again, I'm much smaller. So like my focus when I'm doing techniques is going to be a little bit different than say like if I was like a much taller more muscly kind of person, right? So like I have to do things a little bit differently so that I can exact the same same sort of level of damage or like be able to defend myself in a certain way, okay? So when you're stepping forward, we're not really, okay, again, this is me. I cannot rely on my mass forward, okay? I have to rely on my technique forward. So I have to go in lower, I have to come in a little bit faster and my backside, backside, my like, this side is very much anchored. This side is gonna take care of itself, right? I have good technique, my wrist, elbow, shoulder, body, everything is lined up. But this side, if I don't have that side focused, can't execute the technique the way that I really want to. Does that make sense, Sensei Paul? It's kind of a lot. <laughs> it does, it's actually a little bit different than what I was asking, but that's okay, because I think it'll get oh. start to get very esoteric otherwise. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to co cover a lot of this actually at Elite in Bahamas. So this is a plug okay. that. Oh, what a great plug! Yeah. What a great plug. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to be doing some body dynamic stuff at Elite in Bahamas. So you should go. We'll talk about. It. Okay. So 
Um, okay, so since Jonathan, I'll like, let me explain something else. So um, a lot of the things that I'm talking about here is there's different kind of like levels to it. So like what I was kind of showing maybe is going to be a little bit more like, kind of like the black belt level. The black belt level is kind of like an understanding that Kihong body movement, like these kind of things are sort of um, body awareness are understood. And now I'm, I would like to help kind of like navigate through like the more kind of smaller details. So if, if there was like a little bit of like a miss kind of like, oh, I don't really understand what she's talking about. Okay, just keep practicing your kihong in the technique that the way that it was shown to you and body awareness is really important. So then when I explain little details, like how to like use your balance and posture and, and like body weight, then like you'll you'll be able to adjust to that a little bit faster. Okay, Sensei Mina está clarificando otra vez eh, la importancia de hacer Kijon y estar haciendo repetición tras repetición de las técnicas que no, nuestros senseis están enseñándonos para aprender cómo hacer las técnicas correctamente bien. Y otra vez la misma, eh, como vayamos en el proceso y con la experiencia, vamos refinando las técnicas y haciendo las técnicas con más eficiencia. Eh, y con esto llegaría a ser mejor técnica y más fuerza en sus técnicas. And then if you didn't understand anything I was talking about, that's okay. I didn't really understand anything anybody was talking about uh, karate wise. Like, um, actually, I really don't understand. I, really don't understand. I didn't even understand. Paul's I didn't even understand. Paul's like, like, pretty much. This has been one of the. This has been one of the biggest ongoing scams. <laughs> I don't, so if you were like, I don't know what Mina's talking about, that's okay. Uh, maybe focus on um, understanding how uh, body movement first and how, how like basically like your body, right? Oh, my arms are this long, my legs are this long. And one of the best ways to do that is to just practice Kihong and it's to keep doing the movements. And from there, I think refinement will just kind of start to happen naturally if you're just kind of thinking about your technique as you're doing these things. But don't worry if you didn't understand anything. Again, I didn't understand anything for a long time too. <laughs> Muchas gracias. Thank you very much, Sensei Mina. Oh, you're just not gonna translate that. You're like, well, oh, thank we you, Sensei we, Mina. We, <laughs> we can't thank tell you, people Mina. that Mina doesn't know what she's talking about. <laughs> okay. at, least, at least the Spanish speakers won't. Oh, okay, all right. Okay, everybody, thank you very much. Thank you, Sensei. Thank you so much. Muchas gracias. Thank you, gracias. So much. Thank you everyone. Yeah. Feel free to take yourself off right now. Excelente clase. Gracias, Mina. Sensei Martín, thank you. Sensei Martín, show yourself. ¿Dónde estás? A ver, a ver. A ver. Show yourself. Thank you, Sensei. Let me show myself. <laughs> No, 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. improve your Spanish. Oh man, yes. Okay. I really do need to work on my Spanish. Arigato, <laughs> Sensei. Bye bye, Minako. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye bye, Sensei. Say, say my regards to, to Kuro. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Kuro, Duro. Kuro, come here. Kuro. Kuro, come here. Look at this guy. Oh, my sleepy oh, panther. Oh, little by little. Step Look by step. <laughs> Look very healthy, huh? Yeah. Okay. Look very healthy, very nice. <laughs> bye, Kuro. Bye, Mina. Thank you very much. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you so bye. much, everyone. Bye, Jonathan. Bye. Bye. How are you? Bye. Say hi and say hello. Thank you so much. Javier. We're all going to get this. Johnny. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Happy weekend, everybody. Happy weekend, everybody. <laughs> bye, from Chile. Goodbye, Chile. Bye, Chile. <laughs>